Guys, these are so good, and we're about to show you how to make them because I'm with Claire Thomas of Kitchy Kitchen, and we're gonna teach you how to make Funfetti Rainbow Croissants. Hi, I'm Nicole Farr from Darby Smart, an app where we make DIY easy and fun. I'm being joined by all my creative friends. Some are expert crafters, and some are not. Get ready to make talk. It's celebration day, because I have Claire Thomas, my food hero, and she is teaching us how to make rainbow croissants. Qu croissant, how do you say it? Depends on how French you want to sound. Uh -huh. so you could say croissant, croissant, or croissant, croissant. <laughs> rainbow croissant, croissant. Okay. So we're starting with our Trader Joe's mini croissants. I love the mini, even though I'll probably eat like four. <laughs> I like the mini. But it feels more reasonable yeah. if you're eating four minis instead of one giant one. It's like four mini Snickers. Totally. To, to get to the you, Snickers. you tell yourself, this yeah. is totally, this is like appropriate. <laughs> so what we have in front of us is rainbow sprinkles, and then um, you use any frosting you like. Um, I have vanilla buttercream. It kind of melts into the croissants, so I'll show you how to apply it, but I like vanilla because you don't really see it as much, and it has a really nice flavor. And yeah. if I use like colors or like funfetti frosting, that would just add more color. Yeah, just add more color. Cool. Great. Well, let's get started. So we have our vanilla buttercream here. The main thing though is, is that you don't want to use too much. Mm. It's almost like if you do a homemade pizza and you know how the impulse is covered in cheese and then it just like all, it, all of it, it's like too much. It's like a giant like swimming pool of cheese in the middle of the pizza. It's kind of the same idea here. We don't want to overload it with too much buttercream, otherwise it's going to melt onto the pan and we're gonna have gooey croissants instead mm. of like fluffy, crunchy, awesome croissants. Okay, so if I want to load up on buttercream, I should just eat it out of the jar. Exactly, yeah, that's the time to do it. With a glass of wine, it's perfect pairing. Get it done. It's great. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to just like evenly coat this. So you can see it's actually kind of a thin layer. I'm not doing too much of it. A couple of teaspoons, perfect. I love recipes that can kind of be mixed and matched into whatever you're feeling like. Mm -hmm. You can do this with like pumpkin puree and pumpkin spices. And oh. then all of a sudden have like pumpkin spice latte croissants. You could do this so many different ways and it's the exact same idea. I think with these ones, especially because of the sprinkles, these are perfect for like a breakfast, like birthday, kind of like breakfast in bed kind of moment. Right, for your kids, for your totally. husband. Totally. And for that morning after dude. Totally. Yeah. Can you no, I'm not doing that. This is such a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, I'm not kicking you out. <laughs> it's a celebration. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> so we're gonna take our little sprinkles. And we're gonna just sprinkle it across the center here like this. It's so hard to I be know. conservative with my sprinkles. <laughs> It's like glitter. I know the, the more the better. The impulse is to okay. just cover it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. I think rainbow food is so much fun and so celebratory. Any excuse you can get to like put more color into your food, I think is always fun. We want it to have maximum impact with minimal effort. Yeah. You know, it should not have to take up your entire weekend to make something that is delicious and beautiful. Okay, can I hug you? <laughs> that, that is the approach to making. <laughs> make it easy. <laughs> exactly, keep it simple. So we're now gonna do the thing where they actually start looking like croissants instead of raw pizza dough. So what we're going to do is you start from the back. You just kind of a very gently roll. And this is why it's super important that your dough is chilled. Mm. You don't want your dough to be super hot or warm to the touch because otherwise it's gonna stick to everything. It's not gonna like roll, it's not gonna like lift properly. And then you're curving it around. You kind of tuck it together. And try your best to keep it even on both sides. And then you just make sure that little tuck part is underneath, kind of held down, because it will like puff up a lot as it bakes. So if it's not tucked, you will end up with this like funny little sort of triangle action mm -hmm. on the front. How did you start? Like, have you been cooking since you're five? My love of food actually came out of food history. So I was a you know big history nerd in college. Those are looking great. Ooh, thank you. And um, food is a really great way to get to know people. Because mm -hmm. it tells you what they care about, it tells you what they love, what's important to them. But from a historical standpoint, it also tells you about where they live, um, agriculture, trade, kind of economics. So to me, food is a really awesome window into how people live. This looks adorable. Yours turned out super cute. Thank you. So what we have here now is an egg wash. So an egg wash is just a raw egg that you've beaten up. So it's really even in texture. And But what the egg wash does is this is what makes the croissants really golden brown and super pretty. Ooh, okay. So if you don't add the egg wash, it just might look like a little bit, like, I don't know, anemic. Like it just will kind of, 
like pale in color, won't have that croissant sort of prettiness that we're going for. It also helps the rest of the sprinkles stay on the croissant. So it's like a glue. It is like a glue. Food glue. So I'm now gonna just sprinkle some more sprinkles on top. And same rule, you gotta be conservative with your sprinkling. Okay. Really try your best to hold back. Beautiful. So these are ready to pop in the oven. Ooh. And this is the other good thing too, is if you wanted to save these to make ahead of time, you could totally put them in the freezer like this now and then bake them off later. Oh, bust them out, whatever. So let's throw these in the oven. And more importantly, I really want to eat these. I know. <laughs> and pull them apart. You're exactly. gonna teach yeah. me the pull, right? Like I want to know the, like food, the food pull. pull. Great. Yeah. Okay, so magic fingers, we'll be back because we're going to bake. We are back. They are baked. We're two glasses of wine in. I think we should actually try one. At oh this yeah, point, right. This now is like we get the, to eat it. The we joy took the photos. Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna take one of the ones that's already broken into. I'm just gonna take the hero. This one turned out great. I love the little like the swirl is so good. So pretty. It's a good rainbow swirl. Really cute. All right. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Really so nice. good. You know when magic fingers really works? We eat all of these, you come back, and we're 10 pounds skinnier. That's how that goes down. More Spanx. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you to come back. This is amazing. This was so fun. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Um, really, really fun Fenfetti croissants with Claire Thomas, who, like, you can see lots of places, her blog, in her book, on YouTube, and now on the... Darby app. Darby app. app. Um, Steps are below. I can't wait to hear what you guys make these for. Share them in the comments. And I am so, so excited about who's coming next week. Santa lives here. Dory and Nemo live here. This is above the clouds, and this is under the sea. I want to live in your world. You want to live in your world? I want to live in your world. Here we go. Here we go. I love it. I will see you then.